can't do that. My eyes kind of pain. Yo, what's good, everybody? Um, basically, today we're gonna be doing a video. No shit. What what else is a video? We're gonna be talking about what dance to invest in because dance is literally releasing every single month. Nike just wanna give us more dunks so that we can spend money on dunks and then we'll be secretly hoping that maybe the dunks we hold kind of rise in price but they don't and then we thought it was 2020 it's 2021 now son so you better back it up you know back it up and then sit tight for this video because your boy is gonna tell you which dunk you should be buying and hoping to rise and not every single dunk that release and then you just pray that the price will just rise up because that's not the way to do it and if you find this video not very useful because you're not an investor you're not trying to buy shoes take it as you know you're just trying to look for a price to buy in dunks for your personal collection personal pair and then um my video will be like a guide so that Maybe when is the best time for you to buy in for certain dunks and certain models and this is the exact video that I think it will be helpful for every one of you out there who are still trying to buy dunks for 2021. Let's get it. The first thing is that we gotta make sure that we gotta know uh the different models in dunk, right? So I'm gonna segregate them into three models. Very simple. We're gonna have that dunk high bones right here. And then we have the center which is the dunk and then the third one the last one is the sb pro dunk so when i say dunk and sb dunk that's the big difference okay dunk means for leisure wear sb dunk it is sb skateboarding with the thick tongue for dunk the model you want to be investing is not dunk high as i hate to tell you guys this you're not going to be buying in dunk highs and hoping they will rise even if they rise they wouldn't be rising very significantly and the main reason for why dunk high it's never gonna be rising so much is because the demand on them are just so damn little. But Dunk High is just not that versatile compared to Dunk Low. And Dunk Low is more convenient because Dunk Low is like a slip on, like a Stan Smith. You just wear in and then you just go. Some people just got fucking lazy. They do not want to tie their shoelaces. So Dunk High is just too troublesome because they wiggle your fucking way in, in the fucking shoe. And then it just takes too much time. And some people got frustrated. So yeah. Dunk high just don't have so much demand. That's why when you see certain shoes like Syracuse, you'll be saying like why Syracuse low is so well demanded and then its price is like 700 and then the dunk high is like bricks. Boom. Personally, I'm a dunk high person. I mean, it sounds very harsh. You no, know, very harsh. But you know, we truly say the same thing. Tall people fit dunk high better. So if you're kind of short, dunk high kind of make it look more stubby so that's why dunk high is not that well demanded because there's not so many tall people in the world yeah so what if i really want a dunk high for myself so especially imagine i have these celtic dunks i really love these inverted celtic dunks they just look so amazing you know black and green and white and pink and yes they literally all the colors i need all dunk highs are usually bricks if you just wait for them like you can see the slam jam dunks don't go in and buy it at the high price because the price will kind of like slowly go down for only 240 which motherfucker is smoking some dude is smoking with this shit all right what is going on why are the price breaking on them holy shit they are so damn amazing though slam jam dance look at the price what the fuck is going on look at the price oh my god oh my 10 look at the price on these oh my god amazing so next time you want to buy a dunk high chill relax just relax you know like the shoe is not gonna run away bam next one dunk low in this whole video i suggest advice um recommend recommend you guys to hold dunk low and dunk low there are two models right they have the smooth leather one and then you have a lot of different texture pack this kind is still a dunk low it's not sp dunk because it's still not a thick tongue all right it's a thin tongue but it's more texture this one all right we're gonna move on the texture pack one this reminds you of like dusty or leaf they just released right um honestly as long as you're getting this kind of shoe like below 250 or 280 right you just buy them because you just invest in them. They will most likely rise in price no matter how dull they are, how weird looking they are. Because most of the time, because of the texture, you know, the texture of the leather or whatsoever, the different kind of 
material they use, the shoe generally looks more interesting. It just looks more cute, I guess. People just want to wear them. Prices on them the most likely gonna rise because they are just more unique. What if the price is above three hundred dollars? You know, like not every pair is gonna be two below two fifty or three hundred, right? Um, above three hundred dollars, you gotta make sure that the colorway is insanely nice, like the curry dunks. At the initial release price, the curry dunks were like what four fifty, uh, four twenty, four thirty. Now the price is way above that. So for prices really above for dunks prices, like this kind of SP kind of dunk prices texture, material kind of dunks, um, you should be looking for colors. If they are above $400, make sure that they are popular colors like brown. Brown is a popular colorway, really. Brown, cream, white, literally. That's why it's all here. That's why the price rise. And if you were to see this, you can actually kind of say that this looks like Rookie of the Year Jordan 1. Boom, so the colorway is almost the same or even identical. This is the reason why this price Short up, I guess, you know, certain patterns you can actually see from history and then they just repeat itself. And this is could this could be a fit right here, you know, haha, <laughs> thumbnail. Yeah, so what about smooth dunks, right? We covered like texture, material dunks, like just buy them and just hold them. Smooth leather dunks, right? You gotta go for those are majority white and two color tones. It's because you're trying to target audience, your what audience, you're trying to target people who buy. The people you are trying to sell to, right? Like people who are gonna buy this, right? Are gonna be people who are kind of mainstream. People who do TikToks, I guess. Yeah, people who like you know, they just want to look stylish, but they don't want to look like a hype beast. You know, entry level people would love them. So you gotta make sure that you are aligned with the general public kind of style. So. What I suggest when you're holding smooth leather, like smooth leather, like, you know, the panda dunks, this kind of thing, follow how the panda dunks color go. Like, remember, um, this could be like St. John's, if this was red color, it could be Syracuse, Kentucky, all this colorway are safer. Orange glow, <laughs> you know, orange glow, why buy orange glow when you can buy Syracuse glow, you know, green glow, eh, you know, that. But if it's Spartan Green, you know Spartan Green and Green Glow, Spartan Green will have a higher resale value. You gotta know which colorway are more OG and which colorway that you should be buying. Game Royal, oh, Chicago, you guys know. You see, there are certain colorways if they are OG and then if they have the same two color tone, they are whole. They're most likely gonna rise in price. And if this was like dark purple, cop purple, you know, cop purple dunk, you could be holding them too. You know, as long as you know the color is OG, um. If the Jordan 1 has those color and it's considered kind of OG and if they use the color on the dunk, that should be the dunk you should be holding, I guess, you know. This way, you wouldn't be able to lose money. I think you won't lose money. So do not buy them straight away from the release for this kind of dunk too, you know. Give them a while. Like when I bought, when this thing was released, everyone was selling for what, 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 four, fifty, four hundred, three fifty. And then for a while, people prices start to, you know, people start to like low boy other, cut prices, undercutting, and then they kind of reach like what, 272. Oh, yeah, I bought all my pairs for 270. This was from Atmos Bangkok for retail, but I bought three more pairs for 270, and the prices on them start, like start to climb right now. So I think that's a pretty good investment in my case. For you guys out there, if you want to invest in smooth leather dunk, just follow my tips, I guess it would turn out well. Honestly, we are finally left with the last, the last of the Dunk model. It is the SB Dunk Pro. And honestly, for SB Dunk Pro, okay, I will just be very, very honest right here. I personally do not buy in SB Dunk Pro to hold because the prices of them are just way too volatile to be really earning money because you will never know when is the best price to buy in because there are so much, you know, um, so much things to take into consideration, just like Street Hawker dunks, right? The reason why it didn't rise was because Street Hawker was too loud, right? It was too loud. And honestly, not just too loud, it's Street Hawker kind of thing. So, you know, it's only very relevant to the Asia market, not so much on the whole global market. And then you thought what the Paul will not do that much, you know, because what the Paul is kind of loud, but what the Paul rise in price. You know after the release so shoes like these are harder and harder to predict especially for sb dunk pro so honestly i wouldn't recommend buying in them 
Like I thought, you know, the Atmos Dunk right here. I thought they were rise in price. The shoe, you know, this this colorway, bam, insane. Like they just look so nice. The elephant print was insane. They really remind me of the Atmos Air Max One. I think the one that I couldn't own because they are one thousand or something like that. So I was expecting this would do fairly well in the market. Prices on these kind of just plateau. They never kind of rise here and there. I don't understand why too. You know, they are they are not majority white, but they are still very wearable. But you know. Some shoes you just very hard to predict, especially for this kind of model, the SB Dunk Pro model. So in my opinion, I would try to avoid them for investing. And if you were to buy them, I don't think I can give you a very um good kind of yeah. I cannot give you a very good advice. But if the shoe is highly unlikely wearable, like really highly unwearable for people, like really too loud. And two plates are different colors. Two shoes are different colors. I would suggest you guys to hold on to your purchases. Hold your horses first. You know, like when a shoe is too loud, you just gotta let it let it sink in. You gotta understand that people who buy these are not just gonna be collectors only. You know, like, people have to wear them. You know, like if no one is buying them to wear them, the prices on that shoe is not gonna rise anytime soon because people who are gonna buy them are actually the collectors only because no one is gonna wear that. If the shoe is very hard to wear. It's not gonna rise, right? You know, wearability does affect the market price. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys share the same thoughts or the same opinion or the same methods I use to predict down prices and to invest in downs. You know, just let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to see you guys. You know, give me different ideas. You know, just challenge my, you know, my methods or challenge my, my thinking. I guess you know, if you find the way I say things is kind of wrong. Let me know in the comment section down below. So sneak it in comment. I'ma see you guys in the next video, and I hope this video is really helpful for you guys. Thank you guys for continuing to support me throughout the whole um, journey. It's kind of been one year already. Whole oh, time has passed, you know, from my past video to my now video. Haha, <laughs> big, big, big difference, big ass difference. And I hope you guys still stay true to me. You know, still, 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 still watch my video, and I'm very excited to, you know, be part of your life. Thing I come up, see you guys next time. Peace out, people.